Praise the Lord. It's Charity Abuesin on the Hour of Liberty again. Jesus Christ is Lord. And uh, we spoke about uh, Bible sowing and reaping. And I, just, I don't want us to think that we're just talking out of our heads. I want us to read by the Bible. I'm reading from the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. What, where am I, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that you have decided that your women are beasts, beasts of burdens. They, work, they wake up in the morning, they're the first to wake up and they're the last to go to bed. And yet, yet some of them still get beaten up. When they go home, some of them, their, their husbands don't work. And this your man came up to say, eh, they, nobody can call a man by his name. I suppose when, when people give birth to Nigeria, give birth in Nigeria now, let them not name the boys. Let them just be lords. Eh? Because it's an abomination for them to be addressed. Okay, when they go to work, anybody can address them by their name. <laughs> but their wives cannot address. Are you are you all right? Are you guys all right in Nigeria there? And you leave this thing unleashed. Go, walking about preaching that, representing you. He said it's an abomination for a uh, um, uh, 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 woman to call his, his her husband by his name. I want to know where he where he read that. And, uh, and please, when you find out where exactly that is coming from, send me an email, c-a-n-christianliberty at gmail.com. Please, it's canchristianliberty at gmail.com. I need to hear, please. I need to know where he read that. And please don't come to me with any, any quotations from Old Testament because it's not valid. It's an inspired thing. Yeah? Hmm? Don't come to me with anything from Old Testament because we passed from there. The law, let me tell you why I said don't do it so that it be not, <clears throat> I'm not talking out of my head. I show you why I said don't do it because it's not valid. Um, it's like me going to the drug trolley and getting out, uh, let's say, uh, a drug of choice here, a uh, uh, co-amoxiclav, an antibiotics, a, a broad spectrum that is always prescribed. I get out one that has expired 2008 and I go inject somebody with it and kill it. That's what it will do. So don't come to me with any quotations from Old Testament. <clears throat> I want you to show me in the New Testament where the Bible says, in fact, it doesn't even say it anywhere in the Old Testament. Don't think I, I don't read my Bible. I have a plan to, fin to read the Bible, to re read through the Bible every year. And when the year finishes, I go back to Genesis. So don't you think that if you go quoting from New Testament, uh, Old Testament, I will know it. I catch you out fast. Uh, and I catch you out red-handed. And, and you'll be surprised you get a whole Bible coming down your email if you did that. <laughs> If you did, if, if you did that, uh, I'm reading from the book of Romans, chapter eight, verse. I'm telling you this. I'm, I'm trying to explain why I will not accept any quotations from the Old Testament. You know, from from you. And he says, Romans chapter eight, verse uh, one. He says, "There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus." For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Have you noticed that I skipped something if you're a Bible student? If, you're, if you read your Bible, you're a Christian, you read your Bible, you must know that I skipped something. I'll tell you what I skipped. I don't like to read it because the translators added it in. It wasn't in the original translation. It reads, this is King James. I have, and by the way, King James always marginalizes women in the Bible. That's another thing you must know. When you read your Bibles, you need to get another translation other than King James and read it. If you want to know, really, really get the gist out of that scripture, go 
to complete Jewish Bible, they're very, very balanced. They don't tipped over in any way. And look, let me read the, the one I omitted because it wasn't in the original uh, translation, original writing. It, you know, it says here, there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Anyway, King James says which. That was an old English, Shakespearean. So I don't like reading it like that. <laughs> it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. In the original writing, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. The writing is, there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, period. For the, law, or for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death in Jesus. And what am I saying? The reason why I read this is because I don't want anyone to go digging out from uh, uh, Old Testament to come to sin and this and that, this and that, this and that. Anyway, there is even nowhere that uh, Old Testament specifies that uh, women should be calling their, or their husbands lords. It doesn't say that. And, and you know, people think that Old Testament is really, really against women. But if you read it pro properly, it's not quite. It's not quite. You know, many things that God allowed the children of Israel to do, it's just people were just spoiled boys. <laughs> and he was bearing with them so he can, he can bring them out as a nation to the point that they will bring out Jesus Christ. The, you know, ten tribes are lost. <laughs> you can imagine. Is it, you know... It's, 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 it's like a pampering a dying child, <laughs> you know, just, we, yeah, we do all sorts, you know, we ventilate them, you know, and then after that we do what is called the um, OptiFlu, <laughs> after, we put them on CPAP, <laughs> after CPAP we use OptiFlu, uh, and then after that we do Hyper, <laughs> what is called Hyper, Hyper, <laughs> Hyper Ventilation. And there's all sorts of patching, and, and, and half of them I know that that one, that one, that, that child, baby is dead. <laughs> We're just patching it. <laughs> We're just patching it until it becomes one big lawsuit. Parents will be suing. I don't want you to stop this and that and that and that. You know, he was patching up. God was patching up. You must know that. You must know that. He, there was times that God speaks like somebody who's crying over Israel because of things they did to him. He, but you know, you know they were supposed to finish the journey from Egypt to Canaan land in 40 days. But because, because he said, lest Israel see war and run back to Egypt. That's why, that's why he took them. He turned them, he said they turned back round to Pi Road. If you read your Bible, you must know. <laughs> you must know. Do you know where Pi High Road is? <laughs> you must, he said to them, turn you round over against this sea. <laughs> and they came back, you know. So if you go fishing in the Old Testament, I will catch you out. Because I do read my Bible. This is my life. And I don't allow anyone to deceive me. Mm. And I've just read to you that the reason why I wouldn't accept any quotations from the Old Testament is because of this scripture I just read to you. And let me read something again to you from the book of Romans. Another reason why I wouldn't accept any quotations from you, uh, uh, from the Old Testament, um, is Romans chapter 10 verse 4. <clears throat> Romans chapter 10 verse 4, it says, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. Did you hear that? Huh? For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. That's what King James says. But modern English will say believes. Yeah? That's the reason why I wouldn't accept that from you. And I show you another reason why I will not accept that from you. From you. And because <clears throat> uh, uh, I, I hear Africans go, hey, but Jesus Christ said he came to fulfill the law. What does it mean to fulfill the law? What does it mean to fulfill the law? What does it mean? You see, the scripture I just read, <clears throat> I just read, it references Matthew Chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or, or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So, and the fulfillment of it was in Romans chapter 4, chapter 10, verse 4. So we don't go fishing round here. We don't go fishing beyond Matthew. <clears throat> we don't do that. We do not do that. And even Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are not 
New Testaments, they're interim. They're interim laws. They're not, Jesus Christ lived under the law that we might not live under it. If you understand what the Bible says, he made him to be sin who knew no sin that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So we don't even live here, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We take references from there, but they're not commandments for us. They're not commandments for us, you know. We take references, but not that this is... The, the, uh, we have a commandment to love one another. And the Bible says that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost who is given unto us. This is charity, a blessing on the hour of liberty, proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you.